Hello everyone, welcome to my series on A2019 programming and today we are going to discuss scripts and exceptions in A2019. Now in A2019 we can execute VB script from A2019 directly, from the editor directly. We need to create a session and then we can either import a VB script file from the file system or from the control room or we can manually, we can provide a manual input over here where the entire script can be pasted right here. So let's see how that works. Now, uh, let's try f a very simple VBScript function. Let me just say a function, say hello. And it just returns. Hello, back to 8 and 19. So this is a simple VBScript function which returns the value hello. And uh, we're going to run the function, say, Hello. So if you see, in this uh, direct script, I have defined a function, say hello. And in the run function, I'm going to run that same function, hello. Now, I don't have to pass any parameters, and the output value can be set to prompt assignment. And let's close the session. And I can just put a message box of prompt assignment. And run this. And it says hello. The same way I can also create a small VB script right here. The extension is VBS and let's say the name is test.vbs. Yes, I want to change the extension. Let me just copy the entire path. Now in A2019 instead of selecting manual input I'll say import existing file, I'll select text of file and paste the path over here and remaining uh, statements remain same the function name is say hello so I'll just click on this right click on this file edit and I'll just mention a function say hello and let's say hello equal to hello from VBS file and end function save it close it and these things are anyway same I didn't change anything else let me just run this and see okay just ignore this so during my testing I created an input variable just ignore this and once again the message comes back hello from VPS file so in this way we can call a VB script from either a file system VPS file or directly pasting the code over here. Let me just try something a little more useful. Let's say I create a function to uh, join strings <coughs> and I just pass a str parameter over here and then I create an array by splitting that parameter str prm with a delimiter let's say pound sign Okay, and once this delimiter is, once we split the string with the delimiter and put this in the array, the next step is just to create a output str equal to arr0 and space arr1. And I'm going to return that at output, so join strings equal to output str and function. Now this is how VBScript works. It splits the string by using this delimiter and stores the output in array. So array contains all the split param elements. Now output str is basically joining the elements of the array by putting a space in between. And then this is how we return the value back to the calling function. If you know, want to know more about VBScript, you can watch my series on VBScript programming. But for the time being, run function will say join strings Let's join string or join strings join strings okay and in the parameters I'm going to create a string parameter and let's say parm1 and I'll just pass a default value saying hello pound world 
and our portal come to prompt assignment I'll close it and message box prompt assignment let's run this ignore this and it says hello world with a space so this is how we can call VBScript functions from within A2019 now we can write simple and complex functions but just to make sure the function name should be called from the run function command and the parameter should be passed properly now I tried using list parameters over here but uh, for some reason it didn't work it gave an error message maybe they need to work on that but uh, as of now I'm just passing a string parameter and then I'm splitting that and creating multiple parameters out of it so this is about VBScript calling in A2019 now let's talk about exception handling so we use exception handling by using try catch blocks let's say I want to uh, script open statement and I go for desktop file and I put a file which does not exist so instead of test.vbs I say test123.vbs now this file does not exist so this statement should throw an error so any statement that can throw an error or that we need to handle for ex unexpected ex exceptions we need to put in the try block and in the catch block we mention what to do if an error happens so if you click on the catch there are two variables so one is the exception message and the line number so we create a small string which says str error message so any kind of error message the text will come here and we create a number variable called line number so the line in which the error has happened that will come here and then I can put a message box inside this catch where I can say line number to string put a hyphen and then I can say error message now if I run this code it says line number is 2 unable to open VB script that's because the file does not exist now I'm getting a proper message box with the line number and the error what happens if I don't use the try catch let me just comment this entire thing and just run this VB script so if you see the bot does not complete successfully it gives the error it's a basically unhandled exception right here it's a runtime failure the difference between this and using try catch is we are handling that error and we are doing an alternate action in for this error so in the catch block you can put uh, your logging mechanisms you can log to a csv file uh, you can take a screenshot you can send an email all those things you can do now it's possible that uh, you might have to raise errors for your own validations suppose i remove this and i put a if condition over here which says if file does not exist and I put the same file over here so basically this is a validation that I am checking myself so if this file does not exist then I need to throw an error I need to raise error so it's a user defined error I am defining the condition in which the error should occur so in this case we can use a throw command so what this throw command does is it creates error so a user is creating error by defining the message himself or herself right so in this case I'll say my file is missing okay let's see what happens now okay let me just change this to because this file already exists so I'm going to rename this and you see what happened it actually created an error out of that message and error handler which is catch it captured the line number and my message my user defined message over here so that is the benefit of using a throw statement I can create my own errors based on the condition so I can put conditions like file does not exist or my input file does not is not in right format or maybe there is a login credential problem all those things I can create my own customized message and that message will come in catch so this is how exception handling works in A2019. 
So today we discussed two things. One is uh, how to run scripts in VBScript uh, in VBScripts in 8.19, and how to take care of exception handling using try and catch blocks. Uh, these are very simple things, so there is no not much content to be discussed. But uh, if you face any issues, uh, please let me know in comments. I'll be happy to post a video for you. Thank you so much.